Hello, I'm back again for Willpower's channel. And I just want to show you something that's a simplified method of mixing your uh, benzodiazepine solution for a micro liquid taper. I've eliminated the jar and just decided to mix it directly in the vitamin water bottle, which uh, this is a 20 ounce. Uh, bottle and I've marked 500 milliliters on there and I put in one milligram which for me is two tablets of 0.5 milligrams and the only thing I use the syringe for is to adjust the uh, level of the liquids I don't use it to measure anything and what I use is a 100 milliliter uh, graduated cylinder and I have already pre-measured 80 milliliters in that cylinder. What I do first is I drop the two tablets into a vitamin water bottle and I add two milliliters of 100 proof vodka which is 50% ethanol. And then I put the lid on. I After this is dissolved, add the water that's pre-measured. And then I shake it up and uh, pour it into the graduated cylinder. The calculations for this is one milligram in 500 milliliters equals 0 0.002 milligrams per milliliter. That's your concentration. Uh, if I measure out 80 milliliters at the start of the month, it's equal to 0.16 milligrams in my dose. And as you can see, I've worked out uh, several milliliter Reductions down to 75, which is 0.15 milligrams. Then for the period of time I'm doing that, I want to know what my percent of decrease is, so I subtract the 0.15 from 0.16, and I find that I point, I've decreased by 0 0.01 milligram. Then I divide that by the beginning dose of 0.16, and I find that I have reduced by 0 0.0625, move the decimal over two places, and I have reduced 6.25%. The um, most common question I get is they need a taper plan. In doing it this way, with, a, with a, just a simple calculator, and I've had this one for 30 years, you don't need a taper plan. You only need to do the multiplication and a little bit of division, some subtraction, very elementary math, and you can follow along by working this out using the number of milligrams you have and the number of milliliters that you want to use. You don't have to use 300, 500, but you do want a concentration of no more than 0 0.01 milligram per milliliter, and that would be 1 milligram in 100 milliliters. And the reason why is you're going to reduce too fast if, you use, uh, if you're reducing by a full milliliter. So if I had 80 milliliters, I had just poured into a drinking glass and I dose once a day. A lot of people want to dose three times a day so you would just divide this up into threes. You could add a little more water if you wanted to. But all this is for is to adjust. If I had 81 in the graduated cylinder and I wanted to 
bring it down to 80. I just remove one milliliter. Nothing is thrown away. You simply measure out what you're going to drink and forget about tossing anything out. You're going to have a bottle or a jar that you're going to measure out of by just pouring it into the graduated cylinder. Most people can reduce by 5% to 10% a month. Some can't. Some can do more. I, I've known people to reduce by 10% every two weeks, which is, I think, closer to what Benzo Buddies recommends. Other people want to do 2 to 3% a month so they can remain functional. And uh, your program is up to you and your doctor. This, I am not a doctor, and don't, don't follow this until you've consulted with your doctor. I'm just showing you what I do.